Hi, you guys. Surprise. I am in a brand new sewing space because I moved. Um, it has been an incredible three months. And so I thought that in addition to sharing this news, I would kind of just do a whole summer recap, catch you up on what's been going on um, behind the scenes here. And I don't know, just kind of like, you know, document the summer a little bit. Um, as you guys know already, I did take a couple of trips. I went to New York City for the first time in a few years. I did a little New York City story time, kind of sharing about my time there already. So go check out that video if you missed it. But um, and I know that I still owe you guys a fabric haul. It's coming very soon, I promise. Um, but then a couple of weeks after that, uh, I took a trip to Helen, Georgia. And if you don't know what Helen, Georgia is, you're in for a real treat. So my friend Shay and I both have August birthdays and we just like to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Last year, she was the one that I took the kind of East Coast, Florida, took a ferry to Bimini trip, if you saw any of that on Instagram. Um, so this year we were like, let's, you know, not I mean, that was my 40 year birthday. So that was a big one. But this year for 41, and I think it was her 38th, um, we took a trip. It was about three and a half hours from Charlotte to this place called Helen, Georgia. It is this Alpine city. It's like they literally took a little chunk of like Germany and plopped it into northern Georgia, into the mountains of north Georgia. I mean, just... A, a weird, wild experience. Um, we stayed probably, what did we stay? Two nights? Two nights and three days. Brought the girls with us, um, the dogs, I mean, and um, stayed in this little cabin and explored what Helen, Georgia had to offer. Um, it was mostly like geared toward tourism, you know, a lot of gift shops and things like that. Um, every restaurant you went to had some sort of brat and sauerkraut and like all that German kind of food. That was fun. Um, but in and around that area is some great like hiking and some great um, places to take in like really pretty views from the mountains there. So that was a really fun, just kind of relaxing trip, you know, easy going, not having to worry about being anywhere at any time, just kind of doing our own thing. Um, so that was really great. And then the weekend after that, or two weekends after that, was my actual birthday. Um, I had a friend from Charleston when I lived there. She's actually, I met her on my during my very first sewing class. How cool is that? Um, so I've known her for years and years through her having her two kids and, you know, everything that I've been through. Um, so she and the two boys came up and we hung out and we went to the pool a lot and, you know, cooked dinner. We, it was really low key. Like last year she came up on my birthday. We went to Carowinds, which is like a big theme park here. Um, and just like kind of did the most. And this year it was more of just like, let's just hang out and chill and let's just cook dinner and like hang out with the boys and go to the pool. I mean, it was so hot that weekend. I remember that. Um, so having her and seeing the boys, that's always so, so, so much fun. Um, it's just a different, you know, I'm not around little kids very often. And plus these boys are a little bit more like my nephews, you know, so um, it feels very familial, you know, and I, that's always like warms my heart, you know, it feels really good. Um, and then it was the move. So I decided uh, sort of suddenly that I needed to move. Um, it was a kind of very personal thing. Um, nothing too dramatic. It was just once I made up my mind that I was going to move, I didn't have much time to do it. Um, I had probably, I want to say a month to find a place, um, like sign the lease, do all the paperwork, get approved, all of that kind of stuff and do the actual moving. Um, so I did all of that and was out by mid August out of the last apartment. Um, I downsized, which for me, I think is super healthy. I think that space was beautiful. That space was very large. And if you give me, it's like a purse, like ladies, you understand when you get a big bag, you will fill every nook and cranny of that bag. But all you really need is a small little bag, just enough to hold your phone and your cards and your keys. 
So that's a little bit more like what this space is like. I ended up donating a bunch of stuff, um, giving away some sewing stuff to my some of my sewing students, a lot of like furniture and like little small pieces, actually not a ton of furniture, just small pieces, small furniture pieces, went to Goodwill, a lot of like tchotchke decor items, just Oh, it was just like a, a sort of cleansing that really, really needed to happen. And it has inspired me and encouraged me to keep doing that. Like use up the stuff that I have here, you know, bring that inventory down a lot. And then I can start buying them one off again. Same thing with perfume. I had no idea how much perfume I have. Do you guys like hoard perfume? Oh, it's because I like the little ones. And every time I see a little one, if it's on sale, especially, I'm like, oh, it's just, it's a little one. It's going to go fast. And then I have so many of those. So it's been a lot of that. That has happened in the sewing space as well. I gave away some like cotton fabrics. Um, I gave away some Cricut stuff just to like friends and people that I knew would love and appreciate it. So and and the act of giving something away i know it seems like it's for the recipient but it it war it it fills your heart it's almost not nice how selfish <laughs> selfishly good it feels for me to give things away i don't know what love language that is but i just they're helping me, I'm helping them. It's like a win-win situation and especially when you're giving it to someone who genuinely appreciates it it's like you bought it for them, even though you didn't, you just have had it and you're not using it and you know, you're just giving it away. Um, so that has been really, really rewarding. Um, what else? I have been doing some sewing. Obviously there was a bit of a hiatus, um, while everything was in flux with the move and you know, things were in boxes and all of that kind of stuff, but I have been sewing, I have some new makes, but I also know that I owe you guys pretty much this entire year's worth of like, modeling what I've made. Um, this summer was also spent sort of expanding inside the hem a little bit. So I uh, sort of, I guess, launched an Etsy shop um, that has like sewing themed stuff in it. There's like sweatshirts and notebooks and t-shirts and just different little cute sewing things I, that are all designed by me. Um, some of them are like really kitschy. Some of them are just like, you know, really straightforward and hopefully the designs kind of speak to your aesthetic and something you would like to wear. Um, so you guys can check that out. I also did some, um, like downloads. I know you guys love the ultimate sewing, ultimate garment sewing guide of guides. Um, so I did some more digital downloads that are available again in the Etsy shop. One is for travel. So if you're traveling for a sewing thing and you need to like bring sewing stuff, um, there's a download there with like a, uh, packing checklist and like just some tips and information from all my years of traveling for sewing. Um, that's been, that's been a really fun sort of new adventure, um, what else has been shaking around here? I think that pretty much covers it. I mean, the girls are good. The girls are healthy. They got a checkup a couple months ago. They're doing great. Um, the boyfriend's doing great. Uh, um, I'm healthy. I mean, it's, you guys that have been around for a while know that I've been struggling up and down, up and down, good, bad, good, bad for years. Um, so I'm a little bit hesitant to just like fully say, yep, I'm all good. Um, cause I just like, I, I'm always afraid of like what's around the corner anyway. So, um, so yeah, the summer has been really exciting. Well, all the content you guys know and love is coming back in addition to some new content. Um, I'm going to be doing my makes videos and showing you guys what I'm making on the 15th. I have a new sewing along coming out with seam work, uh, the New York City fabric haul. And yeah, we'll just be rocking and rolling. You guys are gonna see this space a lot. I'm gonna be doing a sewing room tour. It's hard to call this a room. This is like a dining room that has been converted into my sewing space. And then I have some other sewing stuff over here. And then I have two closets that are full of sewing space. So for a 700 square foot apartment, I have made the most of the space here for the sewing. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing a tour and all of that kind of stuff, but I'm happy to be back. Happy to have like a, a well lived and loved 
past few months, rested, recuperated, and back to business. Um, if you want to share, I'd love to know a little bit about how your summer went, if you took a big trip, if you saw family, if your family grew in any way. Um, share like a highlight from your summer in the comment section below. But that is going to do it for me and for little Biscuit that's been in my lap this whole time. <laughs> uh, we will see you all very soon. Bye.